March 17, 2015 is the official Israeli election day. The whole world is looking forward to the result of Netanyahu-Herzog election battle. Benjamin Netanyahu is the infamous head candidate of Likud party, and Isaac Herzog is the head candidate of the Central Left Zionist Union, and he is backed by Tzibi Livni. Among all the other party's candidates, it seems that the competition is limited between those two men. In his recent statements, Netanyahu has declared that he is willing to build Jewish-only settlement units in the east of Jerusalem. He also added that there is no place for a Palestinian state in his watch. Netanyahu is actually giving promises that may not be accomplished, which clearly reveals how much he is struggling to convince his people to re-elect him. אתם בוחרים מי ישמור על הילדים שלנו. הבחירות הקרובות מצביעים רק הליכוד. When someone seeks facts about Israel, he should consider two main facts. The first one is that Israelis claim that they have left and right parties, but trying to observe reality, we can realize that this is a false claim. There is not even one Israeli party that really has the leftist values. Left parties in Israel are superficial. They all give the privilege only to Jewish Israelis. Second is another important piece of information several mainstream media are ignoring for some reason. The fact that 54% of Israeli Arabs are boycotting the elections, such as Raya Dabu Salah movement. Concerning other Israeli Arabs who are willing to vote, they are voting for the United Arab Joint Lists, while only 4% of Arabs are voting for Zionist parties. No matter who the winner is, one thing the observers are certain of is the continuity of the very Israeli policy that is fully careless of all the world, including its closest allies, when it comes to its own interests. Mace Mashfij, MEC.